welcome to the show. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I got a late start today. I have so much going on, but I'm bu- I'm about to prepare for, um, I, let's say, three long weeks. Starting this weekend, I'm going to kick off my birthday celebration. I'm going to be in uh, Dallas, Texas. Lunell is going to be at the Arlington Improv, and uh, I'm just going to be there one night. Uh, if you want to know what night I'm going to be there, you can inbox me or you can email me at ptshowbiztafa at gmail.com. All right. Don't forget. Welcome to the show. If you've never seen the show before, I go from five and work my way down to number one. And I hope you guys just enjoyed that exercise that I just did. I'm bringing back the dance or the exercise child, whatever you want to call it, but I'm bringing it back. Welcome to the show. Showbiz top five, number five. There's a woman here in my hair in Harris County is what they call it here who was locked up for killing her three-year-old child. And you're not going to believe what this heifer did. I'm going to, she going to get punched today. So we stop five, number four. Let's talk about Tristan Thompson. He wanted to kill himself. And I'll tell you why right after this. And, of course, congratulations to the, some of the big names from the BET <clears throat> Awards and stuff that went down in Los Angeles. And we'll talk about that. Of course, show me top five, number two, Jesse Smollett. Sit your ass down somewhere, please. Jesse, please have about 20,000 seats. Chris Showbiz Top 5, number one. Did you hear about T.I.? <clears throat> Speaking of the BET Awards, supposedly he had a fight? <laughs> okay, let's get right to this. I want to remind you guys, after you see this video, there's going to be a video that's going to come behind this video. And I'm going to be talking about this young man on YouTube. He has um, a YouTube channel by the name of Darius Official. Darius Official. Darius Official. Here it is right here. He's my son in my head, and I watch him, and I love his show. He's, he's a very interesting young man, and, and I just only want the best for him. It's just something about him that just, he just, he just makes me smile. I just love his spirit, and I hope he goes a long way in life. I, but anyway, look forward to seeing that video after this video. Let's talk about Chopin's Top 5, Number 5, the lady here in Harris County. Harris County is, uh, now, if you don't know, I live in Houston, and Houston has one of the largest, uh, we have a a lot of people here, over 5 million and growing here in Houston, Texas. Um, Now, Harris County, uh, this is Houston, Texas, but they call it Harris County, okay? Now, there's a woman, and she decided that she wanted to play, um, there's a game called... um, Chicken, and I know you guys know what chicken is. If you're from the country, whether you're from the country or the city, you know what chicken is. And she decided she wanted to play chicken with her three children. And one of her little her boys was, uh, I believe, three years old. Yeah, he was three years old. She had three children, and her name is Lexis Lachelle. Lexis Lachelle, 26 years old. She had a baby herself, and she decided she wanted to play. Uh, uh, chicken, and the oh, the, she had three children, and the youngest one, uh, he went by the name of Lo- Lord Renfro. She decided that she wanted to play chicken, and she ended up killing the three-year-old. What a mess! What a mess! And listen, she almost got away with it. The only reason why she didn't get away with it is because they did a sobriety test. They took her in. Found out she had wasn't drunk, wasn't high or anything. So they was gonna have the funeral the next day. This happened last Friday. She ended up. They found out and they had video. Video. You know damn well you cannot do anything in the world these days because you know somebody's gonna have some video somewhere. Here's 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 the mother right here. And her, her lawyer said she's distraught. Whatever, honey. I know you're distraught, but she she don't you don't play chicken with your children. You don't play chicken with no, a, a car is not a toy. A car carries a lot of weight. So I feel sorry for the other two kids because I'm sure she had them lie, you know. But how could you live knowing that you you were the cause of your, your child's death and you sit up there lied about it? See, that's why you, you can't you can't get away with these. These days you can't get away with the entire internet, you know, videos, Come up, pop up out of nowhere, and before you know it, you you lied and they got, they caught you. Well, that's what happened to her. If she's if, she, if she's convicted, she could get ten years. This happened June twentieth, the day right after Juneteenth. Yeah, I don't know what Juneteenth is. Something we celebrate here in Texas. So 
rest in peace to little man. It's just so sad. And I don't know what's going to happen to the other kids. You know, and this is what's going to be sad is if the other kids, if they didn't have grandparents or anything like, and grandparents or anything like that, the kids going to have to go into foster, to foster, uh, foster homes. And have to live with that for the rest of their life. Mama killed our brother. Mm. Mm. What a mess. Well, today, she's being punched. Let's move on to show Miss Top 5, number 4. Let's talk about Trinston Thompson. Y'all know who this whore is, right? Well, Trinston Thompson is the whore who allegedly stepped around with <coughs> uh, Khloe Kardashian's best friend. You know, by, uh, her name is uh, uh, Jordan. The Jordan girl. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, here's the latest with him. He is, uh, she's saying, Chloe is saying that he wanted to kill himself because he felt bad for cheating on Jordan Woods. Yeah, that's her name, Jordan Woods. He need to get his ass up. So he need to sit like, he need to have like a million seats. Why are you going to feel bad now? You only feel bad because you got caught. You gonna if you listen, it's not good to cheat. Whether it's a best friend, a friend, or somebody, you know, cheating is ain't good. No, how, no matter how you look at it. But now all of a sudden, since you got caught, you want to kill yourself, Chloe. You you need to you buying that Chloe. That fool wasn't gonna kill himself. He loved himself. He loved what he liked too much to kill himself. And I just think that you know don't don't try to try to make us feel sorry for you, Tristan, because your ass got caught for being a hoe. <laughs> you need to have oh. Celebrity guest. Yes. Uh huh. How you doing, Chris Jenner? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, I can't come in there. I'm, I'm doing the show. Yes, ma'am. No, he can't come on and tell his side of the story. He, he, I'm just reporting what's in the news. He's gonna, he's gonna be a hole. Always gonna be a hole. And no matter what he need, he's just gonna be a hole. And you need to stop trying to take up for him. And you, I wouldn't be surprised if you ain't trying to mess with him. Goodbye, Chris. Take care. That was Chloe's mama. She said, I told you I have celebrities to come through here. I cannot afford to bring them over here. It costs too much. Anyway, we're going to move right along. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 uh, let's talk about Shepard Safa, number three. Okay, let's talk about the BET Awards. Here are some of the big names uh, the people who really, really, really did good. Of course, you know, um, uh, Cardi B, she got Best Female Rapper. Uh, she was nominated for seven awards. And, uh, and, of course, she didn't win all of them, but she she did win a lot. Of course, we know Nipsey Hussle won for Best Hip Hop Artist. And, of course, the, the Humanitarian Award. And, of course, T.I. Uh, presented this award to his family. Congratulations to them. Uh, now, everybody's talking about, of course, Mary J. Blige. She got the, you know, Lifetime Achievement Award, which she definitely deserves. Mary J. Blige has been through a lot, y'all, the last two or three years. What that Ken Don't is what I call them. Not Ken Do, but Ken Don't. And she's, 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 a, she's, a, she's a very, very... You know, she's a very strong woman. She gives me that she, no matter what she goes through, she's trying to make, she try to, she's going to try to make it right. So congratulations to Mary J. Blige, in case you haven't heard. She's actually about to go on tour, and the name of the tour is going to be called Royalty Tour. Royalty Tour. And this is, she's going to be with, a, I'm going to take my horse to the hotel town road. You're going to ride to the... <laughs> so they're going to be going on tour. It's called the Royalty T Royalty Tour. So congratulations to Mary J. Blige and the Nas going on tour. And of course, Car Cardi B, she won the album of the year. So it was a great thing. And they had best dress, best, worst, worst dress. I'm going to give you guys... We're going to talk about that on tomorrow's show. So, anyway, congratulations to Mary J. Blige. Wish her nothing but the best. Y'all, she did all her metal, metal songs and stuff. She was really, really good. Really, really good. And, of course, a lot of people are going in on uh, Billy Ray Cyrus' door, like Miley, because, you know, for years, she's tried to get into the black circuit. She's tried to get into the hip-hop scene. And remember when she was twerking and doing all that, but they weren't buying it? Well, honey, she's, they said she's evil. Because her dad and just slipped right up in there. See, that's why you you don't just know you don't never know when your time gonna come. Just like the situation with the little boy that was talking to his dad. All of a sudden, all of all of a sudden, that one video just made him a success overnight. You know, I don't know. Some people say that that Molly won't ever cross over. You don't say you don't never whatever's meant for you to do, it'll, it'll happen. 
No matter what you say, it'll happen. So, yeah, all this time, a little nausea. And then they, they did this little scene. Did y'all see the little scene where he acted as if he was going to be going to school at Howard? <laughs> what a mess. So, anyway, congratulations to Nas. Congratulations to all the big winners. It was a great show. A lot of people was complaining about the MC. They need to let Lunel host it. But anyway, we're going to move right along. Let's talk about Showbiz Top 5. Number two, let's talk about Jesse Smollett. Well, of course, you know, the police have released the video. It was like 70, it's like 70, um, uh, 70 hours. I believe that's what they said. 70 hours. Yes, yeah, 70 hours of video of the alleged hate crime, which I don't believe it happened. I think it's a lie. I need to he, think he need to get God in his life and just tell the truth. I don't think it happened. <laughs> anyway, they showed the video where child, the police showed up. He still had the, the rope around his neck, the noose around his neck. And he invited his friends over because he didn't, he knew it was going to be a bunch of conflama going on. So he wanted his friends to come and I guess lie to them first. Oh, what a mess. Just a small that you just mess it up for all the gays. <laughs> just all the gays, you know. Oh, that's why you can't judge one gay for the next gay. You can't because you can't do that because uh, you know Jesse is different from me, and I'm different from Jesse. In my mind, I believe that Jesse lied. I think that Jesse just messed up. I don't know if he was on drugs. You know, but like my grandma said, it's always it's gonna come out in the wash. It's gonna come out in the wash. What Jesse did, eventually, it's gonna come out in the wash. So, seventy hours of the video. Uh, so far, he hasn't paid anything back to Chicago, and let's see what's gonna happen next. To this, to, to me, this is a new number. Stir up the pot. <laughs> what a mess! And then they show videos of the two boys running, which they they they, they had to be the ones that was playing the damn the the one the ones who was acting like they was the MAGA and the MAGA hats. <sighs> what a big mess. Why just people just can't tell the truth? Well, if he had to tell the truth, he'd be locked up. Anyway, y'all. I'm, so, I'm really sick of this story, but I have to report it because... Ooh. Yes. Lee Daniels. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. It's called PT Showbiz Top 5. Yes, yes, Lee. Lee Daniels, do me a favor. I don't want to get into it with you here on my show. But I want you to do me a favor. Can you contact that little queen that was doing them backflips, the one you said you want to be your super gay hero, and work on him and don't worry about Jesse, okay? Because Jesse did not already laid his bed that he needs to lay in. He done made his bed that he needs to lay in. It. Yeah, you can't save him. He's like, huh. With the song say, don't save us, she don't want to be saved. <laughs> All right, Lee Daniels, you take care of yourself, baby. All right. Where you going? I told you to put me to put your show on bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. bounce. Okay. <laughs> Take her Lee. All right, bye bye. See, I have celebrity show. That was Lee Daniels, bitch. Okay. All right, let's move on. This is going to be Showbiz Top 5. This is going to be number one. Let's talk about T.I. and the mess that went down at the BET Awards. There's always something that's going to go down at these BET Awards. The Hip Hop Awards, the, uh, you know, the Solo, whatever. There's going to be some mess going on. It's sad, though. It shouldn't be like that. But anyway, let's talk about it. Now, there is a celebrity DJ by the name of Jay Bling. Okay? He's the DJ for, of course, Money Floyd Mayweather. Cuckoo. And he's alleging that T.I. and his friends, his friends, his five friends were all jumped by T.I. And he's saying that, now he took the Instagram and he was basically saying that, oh, y'all, they jumped, T.I. jumped me and y'all, y'all in the N-word, uh, y'all hit like bitches. And all y'all did was scratch me up. Now he took the Instagram and said this, so it must, it got to have some truth to it. I don't think that he would just make up a lot like this, but even though some people do. Now, you know, T.I. and, T. I. and you know, of course, you know, May, Mayweather, they've been at each other's throats for the longest. The many time that uh, T.I. wanted to uh, <laughs> boycott uh, Gucci and Floyd Mayweather went out and just bought all kinds of Gucci, just a big old queen, just a mess, just girly stuff. So he went about all this stuff and then did a disc 
uh, and this uh, T.I. and this, his diss track was called uh, F Nigga. <laughs> what a mess, what a mess. Why they need to just get into the ring and fight? I don't know, you know, I don't know. T.I.'s hood. You know, T.I.'s from, uh, what they call it, West, West Bank? Yeah. Just because Floyd Mayweather didn't win all them titles, I don't mean he can whoop T.I. I think he'd give, I think T.I. give him a run for his money. I think we need to get that stirred up and get that going. <laughs> yeah. T.I., I believe T.I. can fight. I wouldn't want to find out. But if it was five of y'all, it would if it's a bunch of y'all, what I don't like is when you have a fight, it doesn't take five people to drunk, jump on one person. That's what you call sorry and a bitch, okay? If it's it's even if it it should never be more than one person jumping on one person, that means you are sorry. If you're gonna fight, fight one on one. You don't use no weapons, you use them hands and be done with it. I, I really believe that Floyd Mayweather and T.I., I really believe that T.I., being that he's hood, will give him a run for his money. But then again, I don't know, Floyd Mayweather, may, he may pay to, have, uh, pay to have it fixed. He got money. And there's been rumors that uh, Floyd Mayweather is allegedly gay. You know, and I got a story, but... Bitch, I'm trying to live. I am not going to pull that, honey. <laughs> nope, not me. But baby, if I tell you I got some scoop, I don't know if it's really him, but I'll just tell you this. I met a guy years ago. I'm not telling it. Anyway, guys, I'm PT with all the latest entertainment news. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Starting this weekend, I'm celebrating my birthday. And don't forget, right after this video, I'm going to be doing a video about a young man, about a, his... Uh, YouTube name is Darius Official. I want you guys to watch it. And um, let's see what else. Don't forget this weekend I'll be in Dallas. Uh, my birthday dinner is next is on the 10th of July. It's going to be not too far from the downtown area. If you live in Houston, I know you're watching my show. I know you're watching my show, and I, you better come. You better show up. You better come. Even if you don't do it, but buy a drink. Yes, gifts are accepted. Cash and carry, okay? And speaking of cash and carry, I'm not doing no P.O. box this year for my birthday, y'all. I'm just not. So, you know, if you want to bless me financially, I will definitely take it because there's some things I'm trying to do. I'm definitely going to be going to, I'm going to actually be going to spending my birthday, my actual birthday in Colleen, Texas. That's where Lunell's going to be again. So, I got a lot of plans. So, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks for tuning in to PT Show Top 5. You guys be good. Take care. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,